the other thing to consider is if you're getting aftermarket wheels um, there's lug centric and there's hub centric this wheel is hub centric as well as lug centric it's hub centric because the diameter of the wheel is exactly the same as the axle hub lug centric is when you have tapered lug nuts that center the wheel onto the wheel stud and by doing that all around you're thereby centering the wheel and tire onto the hub not necessarily needing your wheel to sit on the axle hub meaning you can have a gap here so what that means is most aftermarket wheels are designed to fit multiple vehicles so these diameters these hub diameters on the axle change by axle size manufacturer etc 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 so aftermarket wheels tend to be a lot more open in the center so they can fit more so what you can do is you can buy hub centric rings which is like plastic or metal and the hub centric ring will go between the wheel and the hub and fill that gap now again most modern vehicles are as they call lug centric which is basically what these tapered lug nuts are so hub centric rings are debatable whether you need them or not people say if you off-road if you race if you drift cars things like that you should definitely have a hub centric ring with aftermarket wheels and tires just to make sure you fill that gap between because you want to make sure you have your wheel and tire centered onto the axle and the hub otherwise you get vibration and things like that or it feels like the tires out of balance but it's not because it's just not centered you know it gives you some movement so there's your lesson in aftermarket wheels tires and hub centric rings all right so to continue our discussion about aftermarket wheels when we talk about hub centric and lug centric um, hub centric means that the wheel diameter at the hub which i'll show you here when you talk about hub centric what you're saying is that this diameter here is the exact size of the hub on the axle of the vehicle therefore it's hub centric meaning that the lug nuts don't really matter because the wheel is perfectly centered on the hub okay now the other option is lug centric lug centric is where you have tapered lug nuts Also, they're, they're called conical lug nuts because they have a little bit of a cone shape to them. Okay, so you take these, and the way these work is your wheel also is conical shaped where your lug nut goes in, okay? And these Fords actually have that too. So these wheels are a combination of lug-centric and hub-centric. See, there's like a, like a little cone, and it slides in there. What that does is it centers the wheel on the wheel studs, which also works as uh, centering as far as uh, placing the wheel onto the axle. Because these are a combination, when I went aftermarket, I ordered hub-centric rings. So a hub-centric ring is uh, typically plastic, but they also make aluminum. Hopefully the lighting was okay there. This is an example of a hub centric ring, and this is 106 outer diameter and 87.1 inner diameter. So on a 2016 Ford F-150, the 87.1 is the size of the hub diameter, so that would be your inner diameter. The 106 just happens to be what fuel has, um, fuel wheels for their wheels. So when you look at these, basically it's just a plastic ring and you insert it into the back side of the wheel. This is your inner diameter right here. So this will be where the hub goes. Your outer diameter is the diameter of the wheel, okay? And the reason that's that way is because aftermarket wheel manufacturers make basically um, a universal style wheel because instead of retooling to make custom wheels every time, you can just use an adapter like a hub-centric ring. 
Now, the interesting thing was when I ordered my new wheels from Custom Offsets, uh, it came with hub-centric rings already. So on my truck, we have uh, a combination hub-centric ring and also conical lug nuts. I don't know that I can really show you very well without taking the center cap off, but um, it does have a, a hub-centric ring from Custom Offsets and then it has new conical lug nuts as well. So if you're curious about getting aftermarket wheels, try to find out from your supplier who you're ordering from if it comes with hub-centric rings. If not, um, you're gonna need some. And they're available widely all over the internet. You can find them oodles of places. Um, they're, they're very common for race cars. Um, race cars, I mean like uh, I guess the example I saw was like Mazda Miatas. Okay, they run like a, a road course. And they use aftermarket wheels, like racing wheels. So um, because of that, they use a, a hub-centric ring, typically metal for racing, um, for durability. But um, yeah, I forget where I'm going with that. <laughs> uh, anyway, so if you're buying aftermarket wheels and tires, just do a little research with that. Make sure you have everything you need. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting and waiting for uh, hub center rings to be delivered. So that concludes our conversation on aftermarket wheels and hub centric and lug centric. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. That sounded odd because I think I missed a, a syllable in there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's all, and we will see you guys at the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.